Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. People often forget that mental health is just as important as physical health. I know I do. It's an online therapeutic resource that will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, all from the comfort of your home. Does it get any better than that? To get started, head to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins, answer a few questions about your state of mind, and before you know it, you'll be matched with a therapist who will work with you. Once you get started, you can send messages to your therapist anytime, check out information that's relevant to your needs, and book your next appointment all on the same page. And yeah, you also get 10% off your first month when you click that link below. Now, on to the show. Sweet! I'm sitting in the city of Newark, the state of New Jersey, the month of September, and reading in the first few seconds of the movie. Off to a great start. Also, you're going to go this far to tell us where and when we are, but you're going to leave off the year. Does this movie benefit in any way by starting out in New Jersey and showing their journey to California? Could we not have opened with them already on the road or unloading boxes at the new house? What is going on here? There are dozens of cars parked in both directions, but there aren't any parking lines and the street seems to run both ways. This is mayhem. Maybe this is why they're leaving New Jersey. California, here we come. As Lucille Singh's positions our destination, how has the bike already been changed to facing forward on top of the car when it was the other direction when they left Jersey just moments ago? Look at all this scenery they drove through on the way to the movie. Is that vehicle really a manual transmission? You can't push start an automatic trans- Oh, f it. I guess the point is that they're poor and they have a shit car. No more Newark winters. I like winters, ma. Kids. Hey, Freddy Fernandez, apartment 17. I usually hate these kinds of forced meet cutes, but it's clear these two will become inseparable. And I can't wait to see how Freddy plays an intricate role in Daniel's life from here on out. Well, my mom got a job with some company out here. That's why I cut the sleeves off this t-shirt, actually. To brag about my mom's job. In what world is a fully inflated pool swan still floating around a pool that's in this much disrepair? A deflated swan that is so covered in algae that looks like it was birthed from the swamp thing's ass, sure. But this, no. Please don't say anything about the pool. I will call first thing in the morning. And say what? Sorry, Lucy, I don't care how much explaining you do. You aren't carrying your way to a usable pool in this situation. Also, is she bringing one box in at a time and unpacking it before getting more? Everyone knows you bring all the boxes in first and then just leave them there until you need something. And then after a year or so, you move the 80% or so that's left to storage where you'll never touch it again. Have you ever even moved before? Choosing the creepy sitting clown doll to unpack first and placing it at a place of prominence. Left, then right, then inside, from the left. And then he proceeds to go right at the pool corner, then left into the hall, then double right to a door after the hallway. The old lady was wrong. When are you gonna fix the faucet? After. After what? After, after. Man, and I would break this lease instantly. This is not an apartment complex. It's a Willy Wonka prison of sadness. What even are the rules here? The objectives, are they just playing keep away? Inconveniencing hot girls. That boombox is melting for sure. If it were a hot dog, it would be charred as hell right now. How could you think about eating, man? Go make a move. I continue to think it's weird these two different groups built fires on the beach five feet from each other and have yet to actually merge. <laughs> Holy sh! If that soccer ball is a foot to the right, it goes straight into that campfire and sends burning embers and coals straight into this group of high schoolers. Or a misplaced kick away from Elizabeth Shue catching a face full of fire and possibly ending her acting career, and that is definitely a sin. Good time, man. <laughs> Tommy's the best. But if you don't think I'm sitting you offering your friend a warm beer you pull from your pants, you just haven't been paying attention. Give me my no. radio. Yeah. I said, give me my radio. No one will be seated while the high school students who look like adults argue like five-year-olds. My favorite scene in this movie is when, in order to prove that Daniel needs karate lessons, the film has him worse at fighting than a tree as he just gets tripped over and over again. Where'd you find this guy? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good guy. And the Freddy storyline setup is complete. I can't wait to see how he comes to Daniel's defense later and totally redeems himself. Well, that's a misdemeanor. Somehow, these are eggs. Sorry, Danny boy, securing your bike lock around just your front wheel isn't enough. I mean, if you want to come back to just a wheel, it is, but I'm assuming you'd like the whole bike to be there. Oh no, the beach bully who gave me a black eye goes to the same school as me? Holy sh! she goes here too? Has this movie ever been to Los Angeles? Hey! <laughs> she has. Wasn't the beach just last night? Isn't this the next day? When did she have time to practice? Teaching yourself karate. Is that sauerkraut with two plain hot dogs and what, maybe half an onion? Man, the 80s really did suck, huh? That'll be 250. Making kids pay for lunch at school. Why would a karate champion put up a photo of him with a machine gun? I guess he's trying to look tough, but I would personally put up more pictures of me kicking if I were him. He can't. Guess what? What? 
I'm going to be trained as a manager. Hold the goddamn phone. She picked up her and her son's entire lives and moved from New Jersey to Los Angeles for a waitressing job at a place called the Orient Express? How the f*** did she even get this job before moving? Did she read the LA Times and find the job posting and call long distance? This is the 80s, people. Don't get it twisted. An interview over the phone? Were there no spots in New Jersey looking for waitresses? He has steak, broccoli, and either steak fries or potato skins at a place called the Orient Express. Is he drinking milk? So Johnny and the gang saw Caruso eating dinner with his mom, and then they do what? Wait for him to leave and get all this way back before coming after him? It went from daylight to pitch dark, which takes at least a couple of hours. And they see this kid at school every day. This is the most turgid bully boner I've ever seen, and I've watched a lot of Stephen King movies. That's not bullying. That's attempted murder. Holy sh**. Stab bike, I hate this bike. <laughs> I hate this friggin' bike! This stupid bike! Blaming your injuries on your bike instead of the fact that you just have a smarmy face that people just want to punch. My entire life I will be jealous of people who went to high schools that had large outside corridors. We've got to deal with this. She tells Daniel he has to deal with this guy who has beaten him up twice and nearly killed him once. China here. Japan here. Okinawa here. Being so jealous of Michigan that you try to show someone where you're from by pointing to your hand. Wipe your mind clean. Everything. Easier said than done, Sensei. Have you never heard of Kristen Stewart? Or Chris Hemsworth? Just how long into the night is Daniel spending here cutting this bonsai? It is a school night, right? For me? Giving someone a gift they have to keep alive. Please, uh, hurt the feeling. If all you had to do was say hurt feeling while handing something to a stranger, I'd have gotten rid of my younger brother when I was 10. To make honey, young bee need young flower, not old prune. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. No one mentioned anything about Daniel making honey with your old prunes. Honestly, that's like the most disturbing way possible to try and tell Daniel he needs some new friends. I don't have a costume anyway. No worries, this gardener repairman just happens to have a hoop, shower curtain, and nozzle all conveniently hanging up right behind you. Never danced in a shower before. The f***? What kind of monster has never danced in the shower? I think you're right about facing things head on. I mean, I feel the same way. Said the guy who only came because he had a costume that would keep the bullies from seeing him. Well, you know, it goes around, comes around. What goes around, goes around, goes around. Guy dressed as a chicken at this Halloween dance is throwing real eggs at people and they all love it? The hell? I'd beat this f***er's ass. This sink just happens to have a hose hooked up to it that has been cut to convenient revenge inches long. How do we underscore that Johnny is evil? We have him roll a joint. Marijuana is evil. Evil. Is this even a good prank? Dude is going to get a liter of water on him top before he moves out of the way. Wouldn't it have been better to throw a cherry bomb down one of the other toilets? Or call him really mean names? She trips the lead skeleton, Johnny, and yet all five skeleton dudes collapse. As they chase him into the night, I'd like to remind you that he lives all the way out in shameful Reseda. And even though he goes to school with Richie Riches, he will now run from school to home in a very short time. Everything in this movie is walking or bike riding distance away. You couldn't leave well enough alone. After we beat you up and nearly killed you twice, you couldn't just continue existing outside our periphery. Man, when you look back at this fight choreography from a modern perspective, you end up both ashamed at the simplicity and amazed at Pat Morita's agility. Phew. Those beat up bad guys will never find out where Daniel lives now. I realize the bullies have been after him a while, but has anyone considered that this particular beating was related to his Chargers jersey? Smell bad, heal good. Taco Bell. How come you didn't tell me? Tell you what? That you knew karate. You never ask. I hate this response with the hatred of a thousand supernovas who just got cut off in traffic while listening to an unskippable ad on Spotify. How is the person who needs to know the information supposed to know you have the information if you haven't indicated in any way that it is information you might have? Do you want a world where everyone just goes around asking everyone else every question ever? Do you? No such thing, uh, bad student, only bad teacher. Maybe in karate this is true, but in fourth grade, I swear to God, Kent Jarvis spent the entire year putting glue on his hands and rubbing it all over and then letting it dry and slowly peeling it off. He got held back. He was a bad student, but I went through fine along with the rest of the class, so the teacher was fine. Daniel son. What? Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. In the spleen? Tomorrow morning? 10 o'clock. And we're just assuming those ass-beat, skeleton costume-wearing bullies out back are gonna go home and leave us alone. They will now do combat for a total of one solitary point in one solitary match before breaking for an inspirational speech. I always used to think Kreese was just an asshole, but he's such an incompetent sensei, I'm now wondering how any of his students are any good at all. Ask one more small request. Make it fast. Ask leave boy alone to train. 
You're a pushy little bastard, ain't you? But wasn't that the whole point? How does this even need to be addressed when the entire agreement was that the tournament would be a replacement for the daily scuffles? Buying fruit juice out of this machine. Just to save you two months of beating. Well, it's already been Halloween and the tournament's on the 19th of December, so let's go with one and a half, okay? I say you do. No question. Honestly, this part would have me asking a handful of questions before going any further, because this is kind of a nutty pack to make Daniel agree to. You're just now coming out here to make sure he's doing the wax on, wax off motions correctly? I was already doubtful that one day of waxing cars would lead to karate reflexes and muscle memory, but now that I know he didn't even do it the whole time, I'm really starting to think this whole training via chores methodology is some bullshit. I don't know here, the movie makes a big deal about Miyagi having Daniel do menial tasks early in training only to reveal that he's taught him karate moves, but he's so specific with how Daniel should move his hands during these menial tasks. I feel like it would have been fairly obvious to Daniel that even if these tasks were annoying, he was still being taught karate movements. Must be take a worm for a walk week! <laughs> did Tommy just get all the best lines? Or did Rob Garrison just own them so much that he made them work? I mean, I still have to sin it, because worms slither and don't walk, but nobody could have said it better. What am I gonna do, moan and groan? I don't know, anybody else would. Yeah, who'd listen anyway? Me. Did she just say she wants to listen to him moan and groan? Does that mean what I think it means? Or am I just making stuff up to keep this movie interesting during the hour or so between any kind of kid karateing? Making your date sit next to your mom after just meeting her. You have a full arcade and goddamn water slides, but you name your spot golf and stuff? Holy sh! they have two separate arcade buildings. Oh, please, play that back, because that seems like she deliberately moved the goaltender out of the way so he could score. Come on, Allie, you never pull the goalie, especially on the first date. These are some of the slowest go-karts I've ever laid eyes on. The movie makes these photos seem instant, but the booth text makes it clear they waited nearly five minutes for these cheesy, tiny f***ing photographs. Man who catch fry with chopstick accomplish anything. I once chopped my stick with my fly. Does that count? All in the list. We now present another episode of Out of Context Audio Theater. List up, down, list all in the list. Up, down, wrong stroke. Ah, very good. Small board, left hand. Big board, right hand. Once again, why are you waiting until now to tell him this? He's literally already done an entire section. Now, every time he fights, his opponents will be like, he's got a weak left block. Apparently his dumb sensei forgot to tell him to paint with both hands the whole time. Also, he never learned birth the calf, so feel free to go all load the dishes on his ass. All finished. Looks pretty good, huh? Hmm. Or say? I would quit. I don't give a shit. I'd quit right now. I'd rather get beat up once a month and spend a literal 14 hours up and down painting this mysterious janitor's f***ing fence. Thank God Daniel has more patience than me or else this movie would suck. This is clearly not the same as this. I mean, this one is written backwards for f***'s sake. Also, written instructions? Okay, look, if it feels like I'm going hard on this, it's because I am. But Mr. Miyagi is a terrible trainer. Without supervision, you have no chance to address form or function in any meaningful way. And there's literally no reason it's helpful not to tell Daniel what he's doing other than trying to set up a big moment for the audience, which honestly, if they've been paying the slightest bit of attention, already know is coming. This rubbing my hands together somehow gives me healing powers is the bullshittest bullshit to ever bullshit. Look I always look I. But if I always look I, will I not sometimes miss peripheral fist? Yes! Bullshit. As Daniel tries to learn balance via ocean waves, you have to admit, Miyagi's methods may be unorthodox, even borderline deadly, but they certainly are cinematic. I imagine watching this movie as a true karate expert is kind of like watching The Big Bang Theory as a real smart person. Which is to say, it's probably excruciating. What was that you doing on those stumps over there? Call crane technique. Also known as basic front kick, where you leave your hands unable to defend and hinder your balance unnecessarily, but sure, crane technique works. Movie is at least 60% training, and I think I'm starting to actually wish this movie had a training montage instead. See what you've done to me, Karate Kid? I don't even recognize myself anymore. And now punch. Learn how. It was less than a minute ago when you said, No scare fish. And now you're dumping him in the water, and I'm not sure how we can trust anything you say now. Not a romantic comedy film if there isn't some massively stupid misunderstanding that could easily be solved by a five minute conversation. This collision only happened in the last second or so, and yet look at the expanse of coverage we have on this plate of food. Daniel somehow looks like he was kneeling in it, even though it's mostly on his stomach, and the waiter is covered with pasta shrapnel on his forehead, the entirety of both legs, and the bottom of his shoes. I don't mean to start any conspiracy theories, but I don't think this was a spaghetti spill. I think someone planted a spaghetti bomb. Giving alcohol to a 22-year-old who looks 14. Salut, Miyagi. Yes, sir. Regret to inform wife, son, 
communication. This movie just got fucking dark out of nowhere. Go back to the soccer and the video gamey go kart happies. Complication. No doctor. I'm a free. I'm a I'm taking a sin off for this performance. We regret to inform you that on November 2nd, 1944. Why is he reading this out loud? Daniel, having now gained new respect for his teacher, bows at his drunk, sleeping ass instead of blowing out that other candle under the window. He doesn't extinguish the oil lamp either? What a monster! Shit. I wasn't saying I wanted a training montage in addition to the 50 minutes of real-time training. Careful what you wish for, I guess. Happy birthday to you. Mr. Miyagi will now sing the entirety of the happy birthday song, because even though it's public domain now, back then they had to pay Warner Music Group handsomely to use it, and by golly, they were going to sing every note. So the sin, as always, is discovery. You're the best friend I ever had. This is both incredibly touching and terribly sad. She hit him? That's an understatement. Why'd she say something? She shouldn't have to, should she? Yes, she should. This is how communication works. Holy sh it worked and she just forgave him instantly and holy sh he was literally accusing her of dumping him because he was poor like 40 seconds ago. Dear God, he is swallowing her mouth. Man, the 80s really did suck face, huh? You want me to try? Hey, it's the 80s. The hell? I don't care how conveniently it's placed, you cannot covet another person's belt and then trick them into letting you steal it. Who do you think you are, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Daniel, look, everything above your waist is a point. Ah, sudden karate expert girlfriend. Love how they weren't gonna let his girlfriend on the floor until they lied and said she was a translator, and now there are just gobs of people casually standing right alongside the floor. Oh, there are ropes, but they are few and far between and utterly, holy sh look at all those fing trophies. There are more trophies here than competitors, god damn. Listen, you can't show us that move and then not have this guy win the tournament. Screw your underdog story, clearly this guy is the best around. If ever there's a sequel to this movie, I want it to be about Danny Duvall and the Locust Valley Karate Club. What's that? There is a sequel. Two sequels. And two reboots? And five seasons and counting of a follow-up TV show? Are we sure this movie is that good? Look, Freddy's here! I can't wait for the heartfelt reunion that's about to come. The care the story has taken with this relationship is honestly inspiring. I never thought I'd get this far. Make two of us. Terrible coaching. Cool, so we've established that kicks to the face don't count for a point. You know, in case it ever comes up again. Do what you gotta do, Bobby! With the Cobra Kai team yelling out barely coded references to taking out Daniel, Kreese having that fairly loud argument with Bobby Brown. Hold on, checking something. <laughs> yep, that's actually his name. And knowing it's a Cobra Kai member waiting in the final, wouldn't it have been easy enough to just disqualify the whole dojo for this light kick to the side of Daniel's leg? Some excellent tension-building exposition going on right now from the ring announcer. Honestly, that guy should get a raise for knowing the exact rule number off the top of his head, if for nothing else. Yep, just gonna create some friction in the old hands and do a little magic massage. No need to worry about the kid completely tearing something and ruining his whole life when you've got magic hands on the payroll. Sweep the leg. Makes sense, right? I mean, Daniel just swept JL's leg. It's a valid strategy and completely legal. Unlike, say, a kick to the face. Not that that would ever come into play. Johnny grabs Daniel's hurt leg and literally breaks, damages it even further in front of an entire audience of apparent human beings. Jesus. Johnny is irredeemable. Sure hope they don't come behind this movie with a show or limited series that redeems this fucking dick. Yeah. Kick to the face. No point. Replay the point. Lawrence wins. Allie leaves Daniel for being a loser. LaRusso moves back to Newark where he spends the rest of his life drinking away the pain of life and limb until he dies from heart failure at 52. The end. Tackling the guy whose leg is about to fall off. You're all right, LaRusso. The fucking hell? Is this a joke? Ow, my face. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. No matter what kind of day, week, month, or even year you're having, BetterHelp can, well, help. Connect with a therapist in a safe and secure online environment. And no, this isn't self-help. This is a real connection with an actual human being. If you're feeling like you need to speak to someone or you just need a mental health check-in, BetterHelp is an amazing online resource that allows you to do just that. And you don't even have to leave the house to do it. it takes about as much effort as watching a YouTube video to start your connection to BetterHelp. And hey, we can all watch YouTube, right? I mean, you're all the way at the end of this video. You get bonus points. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. Head to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins to answer a few questions and get paired up with a therapist within 48 hours. Get a whole 10% off your first month by clicking that link. Join over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash cinemasins. Clark, I think we're lost. We're not lost. Ellen, will you please let me do the driving?
All right, all right. Mickey's a mouse. Donald's a duck. Pluto's a dog. What's goofy? As you wish. What do you want to hear, Ma? I want to hear the truth. You can't handle the truth. I just want to go home. Why can't we just go back home? <clears throat> Listen to me. What? Are you too good for your home? Hey, you ever taught anyone? No. Well, would you? Depend. On what? Reason. Don't say revenge. Don't say revenge. I was revenge. What are you looking at? Finish him. Banzai. Banzai! Wazai! Wazai! Yeah, you don't have to give me anything. No, you give me enough already. I'm, I'm serious. No, 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 no. Really, I'm serious. No, no, no. Hanukkah! 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 H